Hey guys, this is Jester. In the previous video, um, we've seen, uh, we've read the basic concept of multiple columns. And uh, to for a quick recap, we use column width combined with column count to, to define a column system, but which is different from Flexbox. It actually fragments the count. Okay. Kind of like uh, multiple columns in the newspapers, right? The text are separated into different uh, parts. Okay, so in this video, uh, we we uh, handle the overflow problem. The in a column system, multiple columns, um, there are three kinds of uh, overflow. The first one is that uh, the contents within these columns overflows, like this image here. And another one is that uh, the contents, if we set the height of this container. Uh, yeah, here height to is container, so we there is not enough space for a cotton. You know, might overflow uh, to need more con need more condoms, which is here. You see that, so it actually creates this uh, horizontal scroll for this con container. Okay, the other one is that uh, uh, the. Uh, the container's height is too tall, tr uh, triggering the, if you use uh, the, the screen reader, we go down to the last line of the first column, and then we need to scroll down to see that, right? And then we need to scroll up and uh, to start with a new column. So this kind of three overflows. Let's see what uh, how we solve them. The first one is image. Um, as it's pointing out, uh, yeah, we could add the maximum width 100% to solve this problem. Uh, this is the real case. Okay, let's uh, inspect the image. And you see that the uh, columns actually is 176 uh, pixel. And for this image, we add the maximum width uh, 100%. Yeah, it will be fine. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is soft. This is soft, and the next one is more columns than will fit. Okay, so here, um, this container actually has a height. If we don't have height, it will be uh, cool, uh, automatically enlarged with enough height here, right? If it's height, it will be overflow. The cool thing is that even if it overflows, it will actually add this. Uh, how should I? Uh, how should I say? Uh, the uh, the auto column, auto column like the grid, it will fo still follow the uh, column width. Okay, just uh, add extra uh, columns. So for this uh, container, uh, it actually is this section here, right? This container actually has this height. Um, mm -hmm. This container, there's no width, right? If we say um, max width like 700 pixel, what happened? And uh, overflow hidden. Oh yeah, so it actually you see, the will be uh, clipped out. Overflow hidden. If it overflows, actually it, the scroll happens on the parent, which is this section. Yeah, if we section. We say call it like the uh, scroll 100 zero. Mm -hmm. No. Scroll left zero. Mm -hmm. Then where is it? Ah, I'm sorry. The max width here. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. it's on the container. No. Where is it? Ah, this is not the section, but the actually the iframe. Ah, uh, the iframe. No. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Let's find. Let's find the. Uh, okay, so here, the HTML is this body is here. Ah, uh, okay. Suppose that we have overflow auto, what happens? Ah, cool. So we can create, uh, we can 
keep this screw within its container and it will still um, stick to the economist. So pretty cool. Um, let's uh, call the scroll. Oh, yeah. We, now we can. Yeah. We can control the scroll positions by JavaScript. Yeah, this is cool. We just overflow auto. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And about the, this problem is too, too tall problem. And there's nothing we can do. So uh, the MD suggests that we use media query to determine if we have enough height. If we don't have enough height, we just uh, stop using columns and just uh, let the screen reader read from one direction, which is from top to bottom without jumping up and down. If we it has enough column, it, it, enough height, so we don't need to scroll up and down, right? So we could read uh, to help the use uh, help help with better accessibilities. Okay, that's all for overflow. I uh, hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. We have still have a lot a few topics to cover: the uh, content break and spanning and balancing and styling, and uh, yeah. Stay tuned. See you next time. Bye bye.